What's up guys, Sebastian here from GreenMusicProductions.com. Before we start, if you're a Cubase user and you're not a subscriber, I highly recommend you to subscribe to this channel and go check out my older videos. I do a lot of in-depth tutorial, quick tip videos and I review any new version of Cubase that comes out. I also do a lot of reviews and tutorials on really cool plugins that are coming out. So make sure you're a subscriber. And today I'm here to talk about a brand new plugin called Weaponizer by Krotos. They're the same guys who did uh, Dehumanizer. And once again, this is a really, really creative plugin, really cool. It's a game changer for designing gun sounds. So if you're a sound designer working in games or movies or trailers or any post-production stuff, this is a must own in my opinion because it can create super realistic gun sounds, uh, sci-fi gun sounds and even drum stuff. So if you're a musician and a producer, this could also be useful because you have a lot of drum samples also. So this plugin comes packed with all kinds of samples, Foley, gunshots, tails. It has samplers, synths, convolution, reverb effects it has so many things it's really powerful but to start with I'll check out some presets just to show you guys what it can do right now we're on Barret Up Pistol Automatic to listen to the sound you just have to press that red fire button and uh, right now I have a MIDI controller so it's mapped to C4 so if you press the fire button or the C4 key on your controller it does the same thing so as you can hear, this is really realistic. It sounds real. It's really good. They recorded a lot of really good samples and you have a lot of presets. So the factory presets comes with real world automatic weapon, pistols, rifles, shotgun, SMG. You have a lot of sci-fi sounds already designed for you. You have some beats with drum samples, some bullet flybys, bullet impacts some gun foley's like reload sounds, recoil, stuff like that, and some UI sounds. So let's look at the left section right there. It's where you will find your samples. So as I said earlier, it comes packed with samples. You have tags to help you find them. So let's say I'm looking for a shotgun sound. Uh, and so we have foley's, single shots, tails, all kind of stuff. So let's say I'm looking for a tail, a shotgun tail. All the results will show up there. So that's really useful. You can also use your own samples. If you go under file, you have a browser there. You can browse into your computer and load sounds. And you can also drag and drop them directly from your computer to the banks right there. Uh, now let's look at this section. That's where the magic happened. Uh, Weaponizer basically has four engines. For those who don't know, uh, the best way to design gun sounds is with layers. You have the onset, which could be if you're designing realistic sounds, it could be just a click, the original click of the gun sound. Uh, the body, which is the main gun sound. The thump, which is added low end, could be a synth, could be another uh, low uh, frequency sample to make it bigger. And the tail, which is basically kind of like the reverb. So you have four banks of sample per engine. The onset body and thump all comes with a synthesizer. So if you're uh, designing sci-fi gun sounds, that's really useful. Let's listen to a sci-fi gun sound preset just to give you an idea. Let's listen to another one. So as you could hear, there was a charging sound that's made by the synth there. So really cool stuff. You can do a lot of really cool things with that. Now, if we go back to the pistol sound that we had, so these four sounds will be triggered at the same time, but can alternate. If we click that down menu, we can drag multiple sounds into that bank and we will all see them there. They will just alternate every time we press fire. So it makes variation super easy to do. Uh, we also have uh, two knobs right there, a speed knob and a level. This is basically volume. Speed is kind of like pitch. It tells at what rate the playback will play, but it's also pitching down or up the sample. So let's listen to this sample right there. I'll remove the burst mode. So it's a single shot. If I lower the speed, 
As you can see, it's also changing the pitch. If you drag that little dot right there, it will give it a range. So it's super easy to make variations even if you only have one sample there. So that range, every time you press fire, it will change the speed a little bit according to the range that you put. Really cool stuff. Same thing for level. So for volume, basically, uh, let's try to make a bigger range just so you notice what it's doing. So yeah, super easy to do. Those two also have envelopes. So let's say I want the, the pitch of this sample to start really low, go up and go back down. I can do that super easily. Let's try the opposite. And it's going back up. So yeah, it's easy to do. The same thing applies to the level. Now let's listen to the other sounds that are in the onset section. Kind of a click. This one has a lot of tail, so there's a lot of stuff happening there. Now let's go to the body section. Uh, this is the mixer section. You can always solo and mute different engines from your sound. So I'll just solo the body so we can listen to those two samples triggering together. This one has more uh, mid frequencies. Pretty cool. If you mute it, the sound is really crisp and bright, but if we add the body, it feels a lot more natural. Uh, now let's listen to the thump. Wow, this one is just for adding low frequencies. It doesn't have any samples loaded. It's only using the synthesizer. So that's another cool thing is you have a synth for the onset, for the body and for the thump and the tail section as convolution reverb. And the plugin comes with a lot of impulse response that you can use. So let's say you're working on a gunshot in a parking lot, you could probably find an impulse response for that and load it in there. So yeah, the thump, uh, let's play with that synth a little bit. Let's make the frequency a little bit lower around 65 and the duration a little longer. As for uh, the buttons right there, you also have a pitch envelope and an amp envelope for the thump synth. For the onset and the body, the synths are different. Uh, for the onset, we also have FM modulation, an amp and a pitch envelope. Uh, we can change the duration and all the settings. For the body, similar stuff uh, for the onset. As you can see here, we have four oscillators, but not for the body. Uh, so they really designed the synth to match well with the different engine sounds. So that's really, really cool. It's tailored for you to get good results quickly. So the thump is really useful. If you want, you can drag any samples you want there. So I can drag an explosion sound in the thump and tweak it so it sounds pitched down and make it fade out a little bit more with the envelope like this so we don't hear that it's an explosion and it would make a huge gun sound so it's so cool what you can do with that plugin. Let's say that thump there, I want to load an effect on it. Uh, I want to saturate that sound. You have all kinds of effects that you can load. An EQ, compressor, limiter, uh, saturator, ring modulation, flanger, transient shaper, and noise gate. So let's load saturation. Let's drive that low frequency. That's really cool. Let's put a bit of high cut and change the uh, drive type to saturation one. And now let's make it fade out in the amp. A little bit slower. So now let's listen to what it's doing with the rest of the gunshot. So we're gonna hear it a bit too much, so I would pro probably reduce the gain. Um, let's reduce it here instead. So 
So yeah, there are a lot of stuff that you can do. Um, I would recommend you to put a limiter on the output master section just to make sure the plugin is never clipping. Uh, we also have a timing section right there. So let's say the tail you want it to start later since in real life, if you're in a, outside in a huge environment, usually the tail will be an echo. You will hear the tail repeating itself. So it will be triggered later. So you can do that there. You can decide whenever the tail is triggered triggering. If you're designing sci-fi sounds, you can put the onset at first and the body and the rest afterwards. So you can use the synthesizer to ramp up, do like a charging sound and then the impact afterwards. So as you can see, it's super easy to do and it's super fast. Uh, let's say you're working with a single shot like uh, this one right here. If you want it to repeat, you can enable the burst mode. You can change the rate. You can make it drunk, <laughs> so it will be randomized a little bit. So that's really cool. Um, you can tweak the volumes, mute and solo the different engine, obviously, and put inserts on them. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do and all the presets are already really good. So if you're not into diving deep into all the features, you can load some presets and you'll probably find what you're looking for. But if you're a sound designer that likes to dive deep into uh, the different tools and different effects, this is also really, really powerful for that kind of stuff. So I'll leave a link to the website site in the description you have a 10 day trials if you want to try it out and I recommend you to go try it out listen to the presets try to design some stuff on your own it's really cool as usual if you like that video click that like button and subscribe and see you guys in next video bye guys